Baboon TV presents Eight Women Who Married Killers Number 1 Atkin from the Manson family, or otherwise known as Sadie Mae Glutz or Sexy Sadie, is serving a life sentence for taking part in the Tate LaBianche murders and for killing Gary Hinman when she married Donald Lee Lajure in a ceremony that took place the year 1981 at the California Institute for Women in Frontera. Her marriage was annulled upon her request shortly after, as she came to realize that he wasn't as rich as he claimed, and she had married 35 some times before that. In 1987, she committed to a law student at Harvard, James Whitehouse, who was 15 years her junior. They stayed together until her death in 2009. Number 2 Last week, news came to show that Charles Manson, an 80-year-old murderer, and after Elaine Starr Burton's, a 26-year-old who runs social media sites, marriage license was issued by the state of California. This caused a significant uproar, especially amongst lonely individuals complaining about not finding love while an old murderer managed to get engaged without leaving the confines of his Cochran State Prison. Number 3 Another Manson family member, Charles Denton Tex Watson, won the race to the altar against Atkin and Manson when he married Kristen Joan Svedge in the year of 1979, as he served a life sentence for seven first-degree murders pertaining for seven counts to the Tate LaBianche murders. Watson, who converted to Christianity in 1997, was the father of four children with Svedge prior to 1996 when the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation prohibited conjugal visits for lifers. They divorced in 2003. Number 4 A serial killer, rapist, and necrophile, Bundy admitted to 30 homicides, although the count may be much higher. Carol Anna Boone, a mother of two previously divorced twice, was not stopped by this, however. She dated him before his first arrest and smuggled cash to Bundy to fund the 1977 prison escape. She married him in a courtroom in 1980 on February during the penalty stage of his Florida trial. Boone later gave birth to a baby girl in 1982 and named Bundy the father. Number 5 Named the Night Stalker by the press, Ramirez was sentenced to death in 1989 for charges that included 13 murders, 5 attempted murders, and 11 sexual assaults. A freelance magazine editor, Doreen Leoy, married him 7 years later and began her correspondence with him shortly thereafter. He's kind, he's funny, he's charming, she told the CNN channel in 1997. I just believe in him completely. In my opinion, there is far more evidence to convict O.J. Simpson and we all know how that turned out. Number 6 the younger of the Menendez brothers has liked a stable marriage life in prison in comparison than his older sibling. In 1999, Eric got involved to pen pal Sammy Sackerman in a Folsom prison waiting room. Our wedding cake was a Twinkie, she later said. They're married up to this day. Six years after, Tammy published a memoir on her own called They Said We'd Never Make It, My Life with Eric Menendez. It became the base of the 2010 A&E documentary named Mrs. Menendez. Number 7 Bianchi, arrested in 1979 for taking part in the Hillside Strangler sex murders that shook LA in the late 70s, convinced one of his many female admirers who contacted him in order to give fake testimonies on his behalf during his trial. She was later arrested and convicted for trying to suffocate or strangle a woman to make it look as though the Hillside Strangler was still the big thing in 1989. In 1989, Bianchi married pen pal Shirley Joyce Brooke who had tried to impress Ted Bundy before moving on to Bianchi. Number 8. The Kearns, the black musician of influence behind the Burzum band, married and impregnated Mary Cachet while serving 15 years of a 21-year sentence in the Norwegian prison for killing the Mayhem guitarist Oysten Euronymous Arseth and the arson of several architecturally significant churches. He's now living in France with four children. The Cairns and Cachet of which were arrested in 2013 under suspicion of plotting a terrorist attack together, and he was immediately found guilty in the French court of inciting hatred in their hearts towards the Jews and Muslims. Thanks for watching another amazing video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.